Uh, you don't want to record right now, I don't think. <laughs> We've had a yeah. malfunction. <laughs> Could you run a little water on that? <laughs> <my hand? laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, there. That's good. I can carry on from there. <laughs> I'm trying your no tip idea, Lydia. I'm not so sure. No, nope, uh, that's a no. no. It didn't work. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, folks. Here's what won't work. Hi, my name is Lydia Walshen. I'm the founder and director of Drop In and Decorate Cookies for Donation. This is a program that we started way back in 2003 to support and host events around the country to donate cookies to agencies and local communities that meet the basic human needs of food and shelter. Drop In and Decorate is a simple idea. Bake some cookies, get together with friends or family to decorate the cookies, then donate to a nonprofit agency meeting basic human needs right in your own community. It's giving somebody something unique, something special, something made just for them, and something that's above and beyond bare survival. You know, something that you know, helps that person get through a tough time. People often ask why Drop It and Decorate is a cookies for donation program and not cupcakes for donation or funny hats for donation or something like that. The reason that we picked cookies is that cookies have a wonderful happy association from childhood. I remember coming home to milk and cookies when I was a kid at the end of the day from school. Cookies were at every party. Cookies were for special occasions. And even if the cookies came out of a bag, which at my house they most often did, cookies always made us happy. You're probably wondering where 20,000 cookies have gone. Well, they've been donated to 120 nonprofit agencies that provide basic food or shelter, including food pantries, domestic violence agencies, Ronald McDonald houses, shelters for homeless children, and soup kitchens. Drop-in and decorate events have been held in 33 states and the District of Columbia, and in Canada and other countries too. Here in Rhode Island, we decorate cookies every December for many organizations, including Crossroads Rhode Island. So the Crossroads Rhode Island Family Center is the emergency shelter for Crossroads Rhode Island, in which we provide comprehensive services to families seeking emergency shelter. Um, comprehensive services could entail obviously emergency shelter, food, clothing, safety, security. We also offer case management services to help families transition to the next level. Currently we could accommodate up to 15 families which can average about 60 people under one roof. When families come to us they are in crises and so we try to stabilize them to help move them to the next step. We are elated when we hear that you guys are coming to bring these cookies because we have the history of being the first ones to see them. It's it's almost like we're we're enjoying them before the, the our residents get to enjoy them. Um, in addition to the anticipation of what the residents' expressions will be on their face once they see the cookies, and so um, we usually give them out during the Christmas party if there's a Christmas party at that time. If not, we save them for Christmas Day. And so it is simply um, amazing. The kids, the adults, it's one of the few times, specifically during the Christmas holidays, which can be challenging for some families because it reminds them of what they don't have. And so we try to make it as joyous as we can. And so this special treat, um, this, this, it, I, it sounds corny, but it really is essentially happiness wrapped up in cellophane. And it's so amazing where parents are reduced to childlike excitement. We go beyond the basics in a way that really speaks to humanity and how we relate to each other in communities. And we make people smile. And if that is the key to our mission and our success, I'm very proud of that. 
so, goodness. I know, look at all of these artistic yeah. people. And you can look at these too, these are all the things we've done. Just so much imagination. So <laughs> <laughs> on the small cookie that we're at the end of the time with us. Oh, yeah. That's what show it is. If you want to kind of just get yeah. a little bit. And uh, then we have cookies at the table. Well, I'm just not showing for you. Okay. And you are? Okay. And 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 are? Okay. Just drag it, just drag it through. Point the end of the dollar. Who did the song? She got the apple bottom jeans. <laughs> The whole club was looking at her. I'm glad we're recording she hit the flow. <laughs> Next thing you know, her shot got low, 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 low. I thought this is not the right radio. Well, you must not have teenage kids. That too. Exactly. Now you know what I feel like when they talk about TV. It's like, what? Are those the glasses that we're missing? We're going to my video dollar glasses. Oh, they're cute. Decorators. I hope that's not too lewd.